Hello there, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria, and today we are talking about the Lion's Gate Portal. The Lion's Gate Portal is a powerful a cosmic alignment occurring on the eighth day of the eighth month, which opens up a cosmic portal. This is linked to spiritual awakenings, manifestation, abundance, healing, transformation, and heart chakra activation as well. So there's a lot of powerful things going on. Today we're going to explain a little bit more about the energy. We're going to see what messages the cards have for you guys and uh, give you a little bit more information about this alignment. If you do enjoy your reading, please take a moment to support my channel. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button free for you. Subscribe to my channel and connect with not just myself, but other people in the comments. What does this portal mean to you? What are your past experiences? Myself and others, of course, would love to hear from you guys. So the Lionsgate portal, this energy starts to open up on the 28th of July and it lasts right up until about the 12th of August. But of course, the most powerful day for this is August 8th. So the eighth month of the and the eighth day. And this year is a little bit more interesting because we do have an extra eight. It is a 2024 year and that is an eight year. So instead of just the two eights, we've got an extra one in there, really bringing us an extra power shift um, for ourselves, which is great, um, especially with a lot of things that are going on in the world. There's a lot of uh, changes going on, a lot of unpredictable energy going on, and it is all part of uh, a part of the age of Pluto in Aquarius and all of that wonderful stuff. So, um, you know, this energy here can really help us. Um, navigate some of these shifts that can really bring us um, in that awakening that we're looking for, the answers or the spiritual guidance that we need. And of course, it can help us bring some wonderful blessings and manifestations into our lives. Of course, some healing energy there as well. And who doesn't need a little bit of that every once in a while? All right. So we've got triple eight energy coming in here this year. Eight, of course, eight, of course, is a power number. It's the number of infinity. And it is very much related to manifestation, but also very important. It is a number related to being in the flow and being flexible, open and adaptable. And that is one of the best ways that we can navigate changes that are going on internally and externally around us. So this energy occurs, the Lionsgate portal occurs when the sun is in Leo um, and the dog star Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, our spiritual sun, if you will, makes an alignment. It rises, Sirius rises, makes an alignment with the earth and with the sun and with the constellation Orion. This forms a very distinct triangulation, which actually aligns with the pyramids of Giza. Astrologically, Sirius brings wealth, abundance, fame, fortune. It links all the way back to ancient Egypt and honestly, probably before. <laughs> and the ancient Egyptians used this star when they could see a rising in the sky as a signifier, thank you, um, for the annual flooding of the Nile. And when the Nile floods, it brings harvest and fertility to the lands. So a very, very important time. In ancient mythology, Sirius was often linked to gods and goddesses like Loki, Hecate, Helios, and of course, Sopdet or Isis, as she is also called. So there's a lot of very ancient wisdom and ancient energy that's coming in. And you can see where that link to fertility and growth and harvest of the lands comes in as well. And of course, that spiritual alignment there where you can see this astrological event. So depending on where you are in the world, you may actually get this visual representation of what some of the powerful astrology um, happens to look like. And quite often these astrological events, we can't see them all. So depending on where you are in the world, you may just be very fortunate enough to see this alignment, and it's not just going to last one day, it's just that one day is where it is the closest, right, is where it is, everything is, is very much completely in alignment. But you'll start to see some things. 
right? Um, so if you can see it, go see it. So there is so much magic in the air right now. Now, some of you could experience some things happening to you right away. Signs, symbols, synchronicities, dreams, um, spiritual downloads, all of these things. Um, but some of you may not necessarily see things for a number of months, right? Because depending on your situation, things may take a little bit longer to unpack. But trust that things are happening. Trust that there's shifts happening for you. And if you are setting intentions for manifestation, trust that the cosmos hears you. All right. And stay open, flexible, adaptable, but ready to receive and ready to take some action. We have psychometry with sensitivity coming in here. So this is a divination of the ancients card. And the interesting thing here is that you may have some, you either may have and know what your gifts and talents are right now, but you may also have some that are activating for you. And one of these gifts could be psychometry. Now, psychometry is when you can get an energetic read off of objects, right? And it is part of a divinatory practice where we um, understand that even objects hold energy. They hold memory. And sometimes you can go like, I love, I love some antiques. Uh, mine especially from the latter part of the 1800s um, and England, old English oak. And um, the pieces that I have, I've collected over the years, but the pieces that I have, their, um, their energy is very interesting. One of them has a couple of little knocks and creaks in there. Um, but you could, you could hold someone's ring, for example. And you could kind of feel their vibe, feel their energy, and maybe even get some understanding or messages from that. So if you are energetically sensitive or this is something that maybe you kind of want to pursue or you're interested in, it would be a very interesting practice. But psychometry is also just um, a message that your sensitivity are your sensitivities are very much increasing at this time. You're opening up to new energies, new experiences, you may find that some things that you connected with are no longer of interest to you. You may feel that your energy gets drained when you go to like public places filled with a lot of people. Your energy field is absorbing other people's energy. So it's very important as part of, um, as part of any kind of awakening, that we do take steps to ground and protect our energy. You may find that certain foods that you used to eat no longer fit. You're just not interested anymore. It's not that they make you necessarily feel sick or anything like that. It's just, eh. you know, especially things like refined foods and sugars and things like that. You may be finding that, you know, other foods are feeding your energy rather than, um, you know, affecting it in a negative way. So energetically, you are opening up to a different world, a different life, a different sense of being, a lot of changes going on around you, and you might find it weird, or maybe you're looking for that explanation. And sometimes those things defy a little bit of explanation. They defy logic because there's not really a logical kind of thing. It's an energetic thing. It's a spiritual thing. So embrace the shifts. All right, because something in the cosmos is helping you to get yourself into an energetic alignment that is healthier for you, that's more beneficial for you, opening you up to all different kind of things, experiences, maybe even talents. A very interesting message that's there for you. We have the enlightened gut. <laughs> okay, um, so card number one out of this one. Now, of course, this is probably... Uh, you know, I mean, enlightened gut, that's hilarious considering we were just talking about foods that you may find yourself no longer interested in. And as we enter this age of enlightenment, again, we are shifting spiritually on some level. The enlightened gut, this actually does speak to the feminine energy that we're embracing. We've been in times of very masculine energy, control, power. Um, and now as the collective is going through a lot of changes, breaking down old structures, 
we are entering a time of feminine energy. And this is very much related back to the sacral chakra. This feminine energy of creation, of kindness, of compassion, of love, of being more caring and collaborative in our energies. And so as we raise our vibration, we do embrace the, the feminine energy, but we also need to take care of the area of our body where our sacral chakra lies. And this is your gut. <laughs> so very interesting for you guys. But you are a sign that's very associated with food and resources. And so because you are ruled by Venus. And Venus is about things that we take pleasure in. But it's also about our resources, the food that we eat, the crops that we plant. And so, again, in this time, you may be more inclined to have a clean diet, spend some time in nature, connect with water, because you are actively receiving and embracing these new spiritual earthly light codes. So sometimes what happens is, you know, it's very it's very well known in the spiritual community that um, Things like alcohol and drugs and things like that um, can actually inhibit our spiritual growth um, because it kind of alters our senses. But food does the same thing. And so a healthy gut means that we are a little bit taking care of ourselves a little bit more. We're grounding our energy. We're clearing out our energy. We're healing our physical body doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the sweetness of life every once in a while, you know, have that cheeseburger, have that chocolate bar, you know, whatever happens to be right. But you know, maybe live by the 80 20 rule. And you may also find that you're not that you're not interested really in, in alcohol much either. Um, that happened to me, it just kind of all drifted away. I'll have a glass of wine every once in a while. I will have a vodka soda, it's no big deal. But I don't go, I don't go drinking or whatever. It might be also the age, but um, but a lot of other things happened all at the same time, right? And every time I go through a spiritual shift, um some of that some of that stuff got does get very much highlighted for me again, right? Especially if I've like fallen off the beaten track, especially with the things that I eat. So it's very interesting that we're taking care of our gut in order to get ourselves into spiritual alignment because we're healthier, um, because we're feeling better, and because our gut health is very much connected to the area where our sacral chakra lies. We have the Temple of Truth, a portal opening for you, your throat chakra, authenticity and self-expression. This is a time of being in the flow, of speaking something into existence. This is a time where you might be um, really embracing the energies and the opportunities to speak your truth. Your throat chakra is linked to communication. The words you speak hold resonance. It's about you being honest and truthful with yourself and those around you. So your eyes could be opening. Your portal is certainly opening. Focus on your throat chakra. Focus on your sacral chakra. But be you. You're stepping into a portal that really does help you recognize who you truly are. And this may be in alignment with who you want to be. Maybe in alignment with a vision of that you have for yourself for the future. Maybe something completely unexpected. But you are stepping into the cosmic flow of truth, honesty, communication, speaking things into existence, into existence, excuse me, expressing yourself, maybe even in a different way. And maybe you're releasing old stories. And embracing more positive ones. But the temple of truth, there could be some truths to come to light as well. 
here. And it's all about cleansing and purging. It's all about understanding and bringing in wisdom as well. We have gateway opening up manifestation. Look at that beautiful. The gateway manifestation is a very powerful light code here that is helping you attract the things into your life that you want. Now also be very careful because whatever we envision, we can create whatever energy that we put out there does flow back to us. So make sure when, especially when we have an extra boost of manifestation that light code here for you, make sure that the vibe you're vibing is what you want to receive back. We have the warrior shield, ground and protect your energy. Okay. The world is sometimes a little bit of a battlefield or it might feel that way. When we put up our sword, when we put up our shield, right, we are protecting ourselves from energy that we don't want coming in. And just like the psychometry energy here, you might be a little bit more sensitive to energies around you in public spaces, things like that. And the best thing we can do is ground and protect our energy before we go outside. And all that really means is that we are centered, we are grounded, and we are doing some, you know, you can work with crystals, you can do visualizations, whatever works for you to put up that energetic boundary. And boundaries, of course, let the good energy in, but keep the bad energy out. So you're encouraged, very encouraged to do that at this time. And we have, as it has always been, isn't that a beautiful card? Almost looks like a little gecko on there, the way they have that uh, particular code. But the message here is the more things change, the more they remain the same. And, you know, you will hear people and you've probably already heard people say that, you know, the world is, you know, the world is more difficult than it ever has been. And we're in tough times and all this kind of stuff. And the fact is, the world has always been difficult. Being human is a challenge. And it always has been. The energy of the cosmos, the energy of creation, um, the spiritual energy, it's always been around. And we can choose certain outcomes because we've got free will. Um, we are sometimes, you know, have forces at play that are blocking our knowledge and our connection with you know, the wonderful energies that are around us. And that's why there's like this big breakout energy that's around us right now. So the world is not a new place. The energies that are here have always been, have always will be. And you have the power to tap into them and get a greater understanding of them. Things will change. Daily circumstances will change. But the laws of the universe remain. So tap into the laws of the universe and don't let anyone tell you that you can't. We have the fool, lovely, the nine of swords, not so lovely, and we have the three of swords. You're about to embark on a new journey, a journey that lets you and helps you let go of the old. The Nine of Swords is where our fears and our doubts and our worries plague us. The Three of Swords, our heart hurts. But the Fool overrides these energies. The Fool shows that there's a new beginning, there's a new tomorrow, there's a new way of being, there's new things opening up for you. Get excited about what the future holds. Venture into the unknown. Take a leap of faith. Trust in yourself. Trust in the cosmos and trust in the journey that is ahead of you because it is bringing in healing. It's bringing in light. It's bringing in courage, right? The nine of swords, but quite often wrapped up in fear. And what is the lion's gate portal related to? Courage. Leo the lion. Go on adventures. Try something new. Step into a new portal. Because we are releasing the old patterns. We're releasing the old energy. We're healing from that. And we're stepping forward into a brighter tomorrow. Number 30 is highlighted for you. I am imaginative. Interesting. 33, right? Three related to the Empress card ruled by Venus. Basis of manifestation is creation. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. Hey, there's your throat chakra. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude. 
has an uplifting effect on others. Number 10, I am ingenious. You have a great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up indigenous or ingenious, excuse me, ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. And we've got 888. Wow, there we go. I am abundant. And what Lionsgate portal are we in? 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundant. I am abundant. Take that, affirm that, speak that out loud into the cosmos. Those are your messages there, Taurus. I thank you for watching. I do hope there was something in here that might have been a little bit, maybe a lot of it that resonated with you. But if you enjoyed your reading on any level, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Throw a comment in the box down below. Say hello, connect with others. But I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and magical Lionsgate portal. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.